here. I'll come see over here. Chester Lake parking lot. And can't see nothing, but we are doing the fortress. We're going Chester Lake Way, coming back Headwall Lakes Valley. Yeah, Dave, Dave, and Hot That's right. Cool tree. Rubius tree yet. Yeah. Awesome. What's this, one here? this is Mount Chester to the right. That was the alternative for today, but the fortress is on the pallet. Well, even if there's a lightning strike, just, just heading up to Chester Lake. Yeah. Sometimes you have, oh, I know, that's insane. Like getting pretty close to the lake. The yeah. Until you get up to the fortress. Yeah, they need more of a dedicated, kind of a dedicated. There's a voice. Just getting to Chester Lake. It's hard not to stop and take pictures all the way here. It's just so beautiful once you get out of the trees. Chester, all the folded strata looks really cool. Some eye candy there, plus Dave's in front of it. Be yeah, it's probably grizzly digging it up. So you just go around the left side of the lake, and then I believe you got to get up high to get to the waterfall area and make it to the coal. Well, we headed to the left side of Chester Lake climbed up a little bit of a steep embankment. Then you kind of get to this little open area with these boulders. Just leading up to the path veering right up here, which heads to the coal. Past a little tarn, I believe. The couple from Switzerland is coming along with us. Ones. And our Switzerland friends. Yeah. How are you? Just had a snack. An hour and a half to here. Just headed down through the gully, up to the coal, and to the summit. Person. 
just to give an idea of the grade. It's steep. I think it'll be easier going up the slab, but getting there. Little tarn. It's a vicious scree climb to get up to the coal. But I think if you can stay on this slab, it won't be too bad. So, we're just trying to get up the coal. Very loose scree. But if you go up climbers left, you're on slab, which is a little bit better. You can at least gain some traction. But you're on all fours for the most part. I've heard headwall slides better. I guess we'll find out when we go down that way what it's like. Just left the coal. There's Chester. And this is very typical of the scree and slab. Talus rock, you gotta hike through to get to the summit. Summit block is now in sight. Well, we're right up at the summit block. So we'll kind of figure out the best plan of attack for getting up here. <laughs> yeah, from the bottom of the coal to here, it's a steep grind, eh? I love it. That's a long ways up. Can't beat those views. I think the trail kind of ends here, left side of the summit block. And I'm just gonna try going up right here. It looks quite easy. Just follow the trail. Just a little scramble up. Wasn't hard at all. All the, ho or all the holds are solid. Nothing's loose, and it's only about it's about five meters up. There may be another way around the corner, but this is just as easy as anything. Yeah. The rock kind of angles you back a little bit once you start climbing here, but it's it's solid holds and everything. Summit panel. Oh. Head wall lakes that way, which we're gonna head down that way. Came up Chester Lake way. The old fortress ski hill down that way. We've got Gusty, Galatea, Kid, Highway 40 headed down that way. We've got the Opal Range behind it. How awesome. No wind. The 
snow? Yeah. Mount Joffrey, I believe. Yeah, there's no room for error if you go over this edge. Well, we another summit down, eh, boys? Yep, many more to go. At the first headwall lake. Very nice. And we continue on. Yep. Well, we're just on the final stretch out on the logging road. It was a good day. We're tired. Sore. Feet are sore. Check another one off in the book. Need a beer. Yep. Go to the bar. <laughs> <laughs>